took me two weeks after Ian Sharp's encounter to within the hour, in fact. Barely before the crash floor surrounding his encounter zone had died down. Incredibly, it happened all over again. And why I first feared might be a copycat incident. Another lone motorist heading for Maidstone, 19-year-old Christopher Dorking of Cubsey, reported an experience that mirrored Ian Sharp's, except for the fact that it took place further up the hill, in the heart of the Blue village, some distance away from the crash of the group of encounters that preceded them. First again in print in the news was Kent today. On 23 November, we chose the squeeze of the recording of the front of the page. Bluebell Hill Ghost seen again. The article and the expanded versions that will follow it described a virtually identical encounter to Ian Sharp on his way home, was just passing the woman who main junction in the village. When suddenly, a woman reportedly wearing a red scarf ran into the path of his Toyota car and vanished beneath the vehicle. In words of mind for Ian Sharps, Dawkins described the encounter. She ran in front of the car. She turned to me, but her expression was faint. Then I hit her, and as if the ground had moved apart and she went underneath the vehicle. I thought I'd killed her, because it wasn't as if she was see-through. She was solid, just like you. In a state of shock, I got out and searched for the injured woman, only to find she had disappeared. At first assuming the woman had managed to run off without seeing her, dogs found it. First assuming the woman managed to run off without seeing her, Dorcas found a public telephone box and rang his father. After the call, he had second thoughts. It had occurred to him that the woman's body might be beneath his car. However, he could not bring himself to look. Upon his father's arrival, Dorcas broke down. His father promptly arranged to phone the police from the house of the village. Of the village police who were likewise impressed with the integrity of the witness, as they had been with Ian Sharp, searched the area but could find no trace of the woman and no damage was done to the car. Their conclusion, once again, would be that the incident would have to be put down to, you know what, the ghost. And the ghost, again, according to the account today, was said to be that of JL. Three remarkably similar witness accounts that led us to under good observational conditions, each supported by police involvement, together they posed the exciting, the exciting possibility that something genuinely anomalous was occurring on Bluebell Hill. But what precisely? Could it really be as the press supposed that these motorists had encountered the ghost of a young woman killed here in a car crash in 1965? Unfortunately, even given the level of detail present in Ian Sharp's case, such encounters are, by their very nature, both sudden and fleeting, allowing for any number of possible interpretations, let alone a positive identification of the ghost. In fact, there are a host of difficulties in relating the encounters to the victims of the 1965 crash. But any, any other tragic event on the hill, despite the relative closeness in Ian Sharp's case to the scene of the accident, and the admittedly intriguing proximity in the debate to the 19 November anniversary of the crash, which for the press, along with the prior 1974 and then JL, provided all the proof the press required to once again identify the ghost as JL. Hi there, my name is Jack Lamb. I'm currently an actor, graduated after university, and I'm living in Rochester, looking for work. I was drawn to this project because I'd like to help local actors in my area, myself being one. But this project brought me a lot of attention, mostly from my own personal experience of living in the area. The story of the Blueberry Hall Ghost has been around for years now, and as a child I was quite fascinated by it. Not really being superstitious as I got older, but the idea of it kind of brought me back. And returning home from London, I was very interested in doing this. My contact details will be at the end of this.